Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to show you an exciting new feature to the TriCaster, which is the ability to control your TriCaster with not one, but multiple flex control panels at the same time. Now this allows you to have multiple operators controlling separate aspects of your production like say having one person in charge of your main switcher and DSKs and another person in charge of audio or PTZ cameras or mix effects, you name it. Or just have multiple flex control panels dedicated to separate functions, however you'd like it to arrange it. Stack as many flex control panels as you like on one system and create a flex command station. Ah. The opportunities are limitless. So, let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so for today's example, I have my TriCaster 2 Elite interface. And then over here on the left, I have my flex control panel number one. And then over here on the right, I have a second flex control panel. Ooh. So uh, we're going to combine these and make some magic today. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to assign both of these flex control panels to the same TriCaster, and I'll show you how you can use that in you know, a fun different you know, number of ways kind of thing. So uh, for today's example, uh, the first thing that we'll need to do is find the IP address of the TriCaster 2 Elite that we'll be using uh, to control. So uh, to do that, we'll go to the top right corner of the TriCaster 2 Elite interface, click on the Notification Center, and you can see right here, here's the IP address ending in .136. So let's go ahead and close that. We don't need that anymore. All right, so uh, we're going to assign this control panel first to uh, that uh, IP address. So let's go ahead and zoom in here and let me review how you do that. So basically what you do is you hold down Shift, Alt, and Set, and then let it go. And when you do that, let me zoom back out, you have uh, this option here. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click on Connect. And so it searches through my different... Uh, 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 NDI sources that I have. So uh, the first one that pulled up here was the one that ends in .136, which is what I need. So I will hit bank here, or the select button, and we're good to go. And if I click my buttons here on the control panel, you'll see that that changes the video source coming through on my TriCaster. All right, so now let's move over to my other control panel and do the same thing. So if I zoom in there, let's do the same thing here. So again, hold down Shift, Alt, Set. And let me zoom back out. And let's search for that IP address. All right, so that was the first one on my list too. So I'll hit this red button and that will select it. All right, now, uh, so now both of these are controlling the same TriCaster 2 Elite. So again, if I do this, it will switch back and forth. And I'm just going to hit one and two here, and uh, I can't <laughs> zoom all the way out because my ceiling can only go so far. Uh, but if I just keep hitting one and two, you'll see back over on my other control panel that that switches those as well. Okay. So both of these are currently set to the uh, the program row uh, of our TriCaster 2. So, but, but what I want to do in this particular situation, if you look back at the TriCaster 2 Elite interface, is uh, I have this set up where I have multiple outputs coming out of the system. So for example, my mix number one is set to be my program output, and then my mix number two is my mix effect number five, which I currently have set up to just be a, a switcher, like kind, kind of like a secondary switcher on uh, my system. So uh, this allows you to have multiple shows running at one time kind of thing, second screen experiences, yada, yada, yada. So uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, what I want to have done is I want to have my uh, TriCaster 2 Elite, uh, 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 sorry, my flex control panel, uh, number one, be my uh, program uh, switcher. And then my, uh, my other one over here on the right, I want to have that one assigned to my mix effect number five. Okay, so, uh, so on my secondary uh, flex control panel, what I'm going to do now is set uh, this to be the uh, control mix uh, number five. So to do that, uh, all I have to do is hit stripe up here at the top, just hold it down, and now I can assign this to be any one of my different mix effects. So if I go in here, select mix effect number five, 
cool. So now you'll see on the interface side of things, I have mix effect number five on top. So I can do my switching directly from here. You know, I have my kind of a, a program preview thing that I can set up, uh, etc. And then on my other control panel, I can have that be my program. So uh, I can switch back and forth between that and then also you know, between my other sources. So that's one way to uh, accomplish this. Now, uh, another thing that I want to show you is, um, so right now I just had this set up to be controlling a switcher, which, okay, that's cool. But uh, you can also use this to where you can have one of these set up to, say, uh, control one of your virtual sets. So for example, on um, my mix effect number, let's go to mix effect number three here. Uh, I'm just going to punch that up in my preview just so we can see it. All right, so you see that I'm on a little virtual set here. So uh, now let's go ahead and I'm going to switch my uh, control panel over here on the right to uh, control my mix effect number three. And we'll do the same thing. Just hold down, delegate stripe, select mix effect number three. Okay, so now the cool thing about this is because I have this set up in a certain way where I'm have this, this particular uh, control panel is uh, controlling mix effect number three. Let me bring that up so we can see it. There we go. So now what I can do from here is I can do I can control the virtual uh, camera positionings, etc., from with my uh, control panel. So for example, with my joystick, I can move that left and right, etc. Uh, zoom out and zoom back in, things like that. So that way you can have one uh, one of your flex control panels assigned to be just uh, mix effects for switching or for you know virtual camera positionings etc and the other one can control your show and you also have access to even more audio inputs and outputs with the uh, hardware inputs and outputs coming out of the system as well when you set it up this way so uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do with this this is just for today's example I mean there's a bajillion different examples I can think of for this uh, this will just keep it simple but as you can see very powerful set up a whole bunch of flex control panels, surround yourself with them, etc. Make yourself a flex control panel uh, control station and play around with it. And of course, have some fun. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. You can add multiple flex control panels to your setup and connect them all to the same TriCaster for ultra flexibility. For more information on the Flex Control Panel and other NewTek products and services, contact your local NewTek partner or visit our website, newtek.com. And for additional tutorial videos like this one, make sure that you subscribe to the NewTek YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtekinc. And for formalized NewTek product training, check out NewTek University at newtek.com slash newtek-u so you can get NewTek certified. And if you're posting your work with NewTek products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags NewTek, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you are working on. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of NewTek Tuesday Tutorials.